I want to know what's going to happen in the next quarter. Tell me, tell me what's going to happen in the future, not what happened in the past. And so to me, there is no greater economic indicator, uh, leading economic indicator, than the stock market. Okay? Nobody ever buys a stock and says, gee, I got a really good price on that stock. I hope it stays there for a long time. Okay? You buy a stock with the anticipation that it's going to go up in value. So it's a great leading economic indicator, with the exception of Apple. Okay? <laughs> that has not been pretty or, or fun at all. So we'll talk about stocks a little bit more. One of the things I do like to talk a lot about, though, is, is uh, in a low interest rate environment like we have right now, this is a dangerous, dangerous time for a lot of people out there. Uh, because if you're on fixed income uh, and you look at the interest rates, and God love the folks here at the credit union, they're doing the best they can to give you a competitive rate of return on your money. But with that said, you're not talking about much. You're talking about one, one and a half, maybe 2%, stuff like that. After taxes and inflation, that's not even keeping up. You're actually losing money. The buying power of your dollars is actually going down. Uh, so it's tough. And, and for people that, that need income, uh, that sets them up for, for dangerous things. There's a lot of uh, abuse out there. I go to the webpage for the Securities and Exchange Commission every day, sec.gov. You should all go there every once in a while just to see what the bad guys are doing. Okay? Because they have, this, uh, this, they have these press releases and they have litigation releases where they, they will tell you who they're chasing, who they've brought actions against, and the frauds that they've perpetrated on there. So again, go to the website sec.gov. That's for the Securities and Exchange Commission. Another one that does the same thing in other regulatory industry is uh, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. You should go there, and we'll probably talk about this a little bit more, but it's FINRA, F-I-N-R-A dot org, F-I-N-R-A dot O-R-G. Uh, they have a, lot, a tremendous amount of good information there. So I went to the, uh, I, I mentioned this one on my radio program la uh, last Sunday. Um, uh, this one was uh, an interesting one that actually is a story that goes back quite a few years, goes back to 2008, it began in 2008. And, you know, I, I, I get up early in the morning, I turn on the TV, and darned if I don't see this kind of thing going on. But uh, this, this says the Securities and Exchange Commission uh, announced that it has settled final judgments against a woman by the name of Linda Wolf, and, uh, and she was involved with a project, uh, a, a um, a, a, a program that put on classes, was mentoring, and had software programs called Teach Me to Trade. Teach Me to Trade, how to make a fortune trading stocks, okay? Uh, and a lot of the people that she, she preyed on, if you would, were senior citizens, were people that were in desperate situations, uh, that one of the common schemes that she and the people in her group uh, uh, it did was to encourage people to, to turn in their, their retirement accounts, their IRAs, 401ks, and invest in their, their particular program. The program was sold for, on average, four to $11,000. That's what you paid just to get into the loop, and uh, then you had all this information coming to you. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission estimates that she made probably $4 million in, in illegal profits on this. And, and by the way, she presented herself as a successful uh, uh, student of this program and has been very successful. Uh, it says here that um, uh, the commission alleges that Wolf's tales of making money by trading were untrue. She was not a successful securities trader. How did they know that? They looked at her tax returns and she never claimed, uh, never put on her tax returns uh, any uh, capital gains that were realized from her investment trading program. Some of the partners that she worked with never, never had any gains to report, but they reported losses. They took tax deductions for the losses on their trading program. So it was just a terrible thing. Uh, I, what I love about these press releases when they settle, when the Securities and Exchange Commission and these people settled with this, uh, by the way, her penalty she had to pay was $225,000. Okay, here's the line I love, okay. Under the terms of the settlement, Woof, 
who filed for bankruptcy while the, uh, while the action was pending, agreed to, pay, agreed to pay a civil penalty of $225,000 without or admitting or denying the commission's allegations. I, I love that line. She said, in other words, uh, I didn't do anything wrong and I promise not to do it again, uh, is what she said. So 